This is story time at Parkland at the Lakes, a time for grandparents all over. The story is Sleeping Dragons All Around by Sherry Fitch, a Nova Scotia writer, and I'm Jill McKee, one of the grandmothers living at Parkland. There are sleeping dragons all around. And so I must tiptoe, tiptoe softly as I pass. When there are sleeping dragons all around, I must be quiet. I must not make one sound. The dragons are asleep, but I'm awake. I've got to get downstairs for some mocha maple. So shh, tiptoe, here I go. Over there on a quilt of saffron and silk lies Priscilla in pink pantaloons. Priscilla prefers marabou furs. Her earrings are blue balloons. Priscilla's the queen of the movie star scene. Asleep she appears most gentle. But I've heard it said that when not in bed, she's extremely temperamental. So I must tiptoe, tiptoe softly as I pass. Fagin the dragon's a hideous sight. His scales are gold, they glitter at night. He has spiked his hair and dyed it green. He shrank his shirt in the washing machine. What is most bizarre is the silver star that Fagin wears through his nose. Fagin smells like onions and sleeps there when it snows. And so, plug my nose, here it goes, I must tiptoe, tiptoe softly as I pass. In our tub sleeps Beelzebub, surrounded by suds and soap. With a snorkel on her snout, she breathes through a periscope. Beelzebub blows blue blubbles, as she dreams away her troubles. Sometimes she leaves puddles on the bathroom floor. If Beelzebub got out of her tub, I'd get wet, I bet. So I must tiptoe, tiptoe softly as I pass. Glump is simply a dimplish, blimpish balloon belly, a slumpish lump, a wimp of a dragon, with his tail zigzagging around the room, his chin dragging along the floor, with hiccups like no one's heard before. The whole floor shakes, but Glump never wakes, I hope. So I must tiptoe, tiptoe softly as I pass. Over there, by the stair, sleeps the dragon Pythagoras, a dragon of deadly precision. His obsession is mathematics. He is unusually adept at division. The dragon Pythagoras counts in his sleep. I strongly suspect that he tabulates sheep. The dragon Pythagoras drutters away until night has melted into day. Numbers, numbers, infinitesimal. I love numbers, especially decimals. And so, with a one and a two and a three, I must tiptoe, tiptoe softly as I pass.
Ching Chung hangs upside down in his majestical ancestral pure silk gown. Crimson amethyst, silver and gold. He's one thousand and two and a half years old. Ching Chung sings of dragonish things. Where is the butter in a butterfly's wings? Ching Chung snores through his ancient nose. The fire he breathes might burn my toes. I wish I'd brought the garden hose. So I tiptoe fast past Ching Chung. There in his lair in a rocking chair sleeps old Jebediah Jones. His skin sags like garbage bags. Brittle are his bones. Jebediah has three long whiskers sprouting from his snout. Occasionally he uses tweezers and tries to pluck them out. He smells a bit like medicine that's gone a little stale. He daily swallows vitamins and drinks golden ginger ale. Even though his stomach droops as if he's wrapped in hula hoops, one can always hear him hum some ancient dragon hymn each and every night when Jebediah comes in. So I must tiptoe, tiptoe softly as I pass. Stretched out flat on my trampoline is that muscular dragon, Miss Lindy Lean. She teaches aerobics at the YDCA. She works out with weights at least four times a day. Her sneakers are gargantuan. So is her jogging suit. She maintains a health food diet of salad and yogurt and fruit. Miss Lindy Lean is incredibly keen. Her muscles are mountains, it seems. I think she's even doing push-ups in her dreams. So I must tiptoe, tiptoe softly as I pass. about there, even with dragons everywhere. Oh no, I stubbed my toe. I said, oh, and now the sleeping dragons are awake, thundering, blundering closer and closer Oh no, they're growling and grumbling. They're crunching and munching. My mocha, maple, chocolate, cake. You bowl brutish burst and bellied beasts, you brash bunch of bedraggled dragons, you gobblers, you thieves, you... I place my finger on each snout, command them with my loudest shout, dragons go back to bed. I blink, they shrink, then slink away. Tiptoe, tiptoe, off they go, with their heads hanging low. Dragon teardrops in their eyes. And so I yell, surprise, surprise. Since you dragons are awake, I'll give you each one piece of my mocha maple chocolate cake.
The cake is delightful, de dragon delicious. We dance in the kitchen, we don't do the dishes. Then we all tiptoe, tiptly, tiptoe softly back to bed. The end.